sometimes it's better to sleep forever, and uh, it's a terrible thing to say, but, but, but I, was, I was in New York when Michael Jackson died, and uh, it, it, it is a terrible thing to say that, to, 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 to say that when people die, it's the best thing that could happen to them, but for Michael Jackson, it really was, because he was going down an alley, I'm not really not sure he would have been crowned as the king of pop if he would have been walking among us today. So this is for him, this is called the king of pop. Imagine yourself going from bottom to top, from black to white, dragging your social heritage on all the way. The king of pop, icon of the 20th century, dies a diddly diddly demoral death, and fantasy moves on, ladies and gentlemen, to a different level. Obama becomes president in New York City, a street reverend runs for mayor, Obama becomes president, and Michael Jackson dies. The black man is finally white, and the white man has turned black, a slave in the minds of consumption, recession, and the dying need for refuel consumption hits us really hard. Michael spent all his money on fast-moving consumer good plastic and Chinese toys. If it wouldn't have been for the autopsy, I would have thought it was all a scammy PR stunt to buy net 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 Neverland back. But no, thanks to Demerol, the king of pop lives forever. Like Elvis, like Cobain, like so many others before him, like Martin Luther King who talked too much, like Benicia Bhutto who talked too much, like Giordano Bruno who talked too much, like Kennedy. <laughs> the wrong people. Like Olaf Palme who was too red. Like Trotsky, like Che, and all the others we haven't even heard of. And all those others who stayed alive and did not die prematurely and who lived long enough to be forgotten, to be ridiculed, to rot away breathing. Demerol, my good friends, Demerol took care of that. The king of pop now lives on forever. The whole world is playing his flute now. New York is playing Michael Jackson. In every shoe shop, jean shop, sweatshop, and bar, on every street corner, the bankers are doing the moonwalk. Subway stations are rocking to the death of a man and the emergence of a demigod. Idol of a new time, a man who was neither black nor white, neither rich nor poor, neither man nor woman, neither child nor grown up. The king is dead. Long live the king.